needs no introduction. Hey, Do you buddy. need an introduction? <laughs> yes. I'll tell folks who you are in case you just don't happen to recognize this fellow who's been with the station. How many years? 30, uh, 30 I walked years? in here in 1984, so do the math. Man, oh man, yeah, that's, yeah, a, that's yeah, a long yeah, time, yeah, of yeah. course. But, but uh, you've been here almost as long, right? Something there, yeah, like that, yeah. yeah. You and I were in and out. In fact, uh, you left at one point, I left at one point and came back over 30 years ago. But the interesting thing is when I left and went to the big market size, number seven of Detroit, you were my 11 o'clock producer. That's true, yes. And the big story that we worked on was the PTL scandal. PTL, Jim Baker and all that kind and of stuff And we didn't going have on. cell phones. No. All we had were little dial mm -hmm. pagers and the whole bit, so yeah. Yeah. Steve Crump here, I haven't said your name yet, but we want to do that. Uh, uh, reporter, uh, excellence, par, what can I say? But anyway, Checks in the mail a, to you, a, huge, a huge honor coming your way. And, and I mean, this is a huge honor too. The uh, North Carolina Humanities 2022 Caldwell Award, which is, uh, it honors distinguished individuals whose achievements and contributions have strengthened the educational, cultural, and civic life of North Carolinians. And we are talking over the last, uh, how many years it's been in existence? I mean, we talked to Big William Friday, who was the president of the U.S. Look, system. You know, Charles Corral was honored. You're being honored. How does this Harvey feel? Gant is yes, part of Harvey that. Harvey Gant, yeah. former mayor of Charlotte. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, you know, and, and, and I look at a very impressive list, and I say, and me? <laughs> but really, Steve, you're being honored for your, your documentary work. How many documentaries have you done over the year? Oh, I don't know, more than 25, I guess. And, and some have aired here, some have aired on public television. And uh, we've had, you know, a number of them that have been syndicated nationally. Mm -hmm. And you've received so many, numerous awards for them. Uh, In fact, this one aired on WBTV. It was called Brown at 60. It was the 60th anniversary of the uh, Brown v. Board decision uh, in Clarendon County, uh, South Carolina. Uh, it was the Briggs versus Elliott case that ended up uh, more or less changing the face of education as it threw out the whole separate but equal doctrine. What drives you to do these documentaries? Because I've seen you in here at all hours of the day and night working on these a lot of times you're doing this on your own what drives you to do this i think it's the passion that you have for storytelling the passion that you have for the business uh the passion for telling stories that are oftentimes ignored mm -hmm. you know yes. and uh so you know I, 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 I know it sounds a little trite for an example here's john lewis in the piece that we had done oh, wow. uh, last uh, uh i believe it was two years ago we did this one but, but we also used this in another interview as it related to the greensboro four and john lewis telling me at his office there in washington dc how he was inspired by the greensboro four which included franklin mccain uh, mm -hmm. of, of charlotte who was part of the uh, situation of north carolina a t when they did what they did on february 1st of 1960. And that was? Sitting in at a segregated whites-only lunch counter. Mm -hmm. And the lunch counter, what store? Woolworths. Woolworths, exactly. In Greensboro. I mean, it was a huge moment in the Civil Rights Movement. Yes. A huge, that, that, huge that moment. Ca that came here, you know. So, you know, you talk about some of the people with the uh, North Carolina uh, Humanities uh, Organization that have been very, very generous and kind uh, throughout this experience. Uh, their executive director, uh, Sherry uh, Paul Watkins, uh, um, uh, Melanie Moore Richardson, who works on the marketing side. Some of the board of directors, um, and they've been just great. You may know the name Rick Timms, mm -hmm. the former uh, uh, editor of the Charlotte Observer. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, been, it's been quite a journey. It is, it is, and deservedly so that you are receiving this honor here. And I don't, we don't have but a minute to go here. And I know a lot of folks are going to be asking me about it. How Steve's health these days? Tell us. Steve is one day at a time. Yes. Doing what they're telling us to do. I will say God is good. He's still here through his grace and mercy. Uh, you know, off camera we were talking, but... You know, I was diagnosed with uh, cancer uh, four years ago this month. Four years ago, wow. Yeah, but you know, the other side of that is, I mean, 12 hours after the uh, diagnosis, there was a doctor talking hospice. But at the same time, we're still here. <laughs> and we're glad you are still here. And you have fought and battled and just your, your 
inner strength has been amazing. We have to mention your wife, oh, Kathy. Well, Ka oh, Kathy's is, the rock. Okay. You know what? That's, Kath Kathy's the superstar. That's who it really is. But <laughs> anyway, is. so this award is going to be given when now? In I October. Want to make sure. This will be yeah. October yeah, when yeah. you receive this, and exactly. deservedly so. Right. And it's probably one of the highest honors within the humanities that you could receive anywhere. But congratulations. And well on deserved. our closing note, between the two of us, we got 70 years here, so we're probably the only two people on air in this building that work with Fred Kirby and Jim Patterson. Oh my God, and Clyde McLean as well. Oh yeah. my gosh. Cloudy. Steve, great to see you. All, All right, right buddy.